There's three kinds of money today that you guys got to be aware of. One is God's money. And then there's government money, which is fiat currency, which is the dollar, the yen, the peso, the euro. Then there's fake assets, which was another part of the fake millennial, mm -hmm. the fake generation series. But the reason I brought this here is most people haven't seen it. This here is real silver, plata. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what it looks like. And so in 1972, and this here is gold. Yeah. This is God's money. This is what God's money looks like. Yeah. The reason I call it God's money is you can't fake it. You know, you can fake it with a fake ETF, like a gold ETF or mm -hmm. a silver, which I don't touch because it smells as bad as the guys that printed that crap. <laughs> yeah. But this is real money. So when I first started buying that, that was a dollar forty. Yeah. Today that's sixteen dollars. Wow. And this here is auto gold. And the reason we brought it in is most people haven't seen or touched. This is mm -hmm. real. This is God's money. Yeah. Why did I say it's God's money? Because it was here when the earth was created. Yeah. And it'll be here when we're all dead and gone. Mm -hmm. When you're saving those fake dollars, this will still be here. Yeah. Or those fake ETFs or those fake stocks. If you look at what happened with the fake central bank, see the purpose of the central bank or the Fed or all, you know, the, the Japanese the Bank of Japan or the, the European Central Bank, they pump out fake money. Mm -hmm. The purpose of central banks like the Fed is to protect the banks, yeah. not you. They're a criminal operation as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. You're gonna find that most of my talks is about the Fed. So I would recommend you guys buy this stuff. Yeah. Don't save money, don't save government money, because they're corrupt as hell as you know. Yeah save God's money. So this is God's money, this is auto mm -hmm. gold. So today that's uh, spot today is around $1,600 US. Mm -hmm. Now this is the difference. Is gold more expensive in Mexico or in America? In America. More expensive oh, wow. in Mexico. If you live in a country like Argentina, it's more expensive. Because mm -hmm. the price, the spot price is relative to the currency of the country. Mm -hmm. that makes sense. So the people, I was just in Argentina, if they had saved this, they'd be okay today. But they saved pesos, mm -hmm. the same as in Mexico, okay? same as in Peru. Yeah. So this is relative to government money. So this is about $1,600 today, US dollars, and this here is $16. It's about 100 times difference, whatever it is. I'm not good at math. Mm -hmm. But I'd rather have this. So you look at why silver could be our best investment of all. Look at what's happening. Silver demand is getting higher. Silver fabrication demand in China is at record high. You look at, look at this whole thing in 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011. It never stopped. It Even though the up. world economy near, never, nearly crashed, the demand for silver kept going up because silver is an industrial metal, it's used in industry. This thing is only saved, yeah. okay? So in 1972, when I was flying behind enemy lines, I bought my first gold coin in Hong Kong. It was a Krugerrand, South African Krugerrand. Cost me 50 bucks. Today, that same coin is worth about $1,500. No, it's worth about $1,800 now. Now, did the Krugerrand get bigger? Or did this, the dollar get worthless? The dollar got worthless. Yeah, and they tell you to save money Yeah. at the bank. Yeah. So the whole thing here is I'm not angry at my banks because yeah. that's where I get my money from. Mm -hmm. I just don't save my money there. Mm -hmm. I save God's money, mm -hmm. okay? So this is demand for silver, it keeps getting higher. Look at this, the global government silver inventories. It's going down. down. So what's happening is the inventories of this is going up because China's buying it, Russia's buying it, Turkey's buying it. Mm -hmm. Everybody's buying gold now, the central banks are. And so what's happening, the silver is going down in quantity because they burn it up in industry. It's always disappearing where this is saved. It's almost half of the all silver mine is in landfills. Talk about a waste of things. Mm -hmm. 
So every every day, the amount of silver produced is being thrown away. It just I mean, this is just shows you what yeah. happens with the price. Mm -hmm. The price will always go up and down, but you have to look at the inventory supplies of it. And this is what happens. Everybody wants to go green now. So mm -hmm. silver again is is, is an industrial mm -hmm. metal, and this is more a precious metal. Yeah. This is for kings. This is for the rich. Yeah. I can spend this all day long. Okay? Mm -hmm. So anyway, as we go grain, the amount of silver, go, cons consumption of silver goes up. But this is the chart here. What does that show you? It's the lowest, it's thin. It's negative 70%. Yeah. So what happened is uh, these fake financial planners, they tell you to invest in the long term in the stock market. And look at this chart here. This is the Dow, it's at an all time high. Why would you invest in the stock market? Mm -hmm. You know, the Fed, which is a criminal operation, because they they only protect the banks. The stock market is an all-time high. Would you want to get in now? And, and, and so look at housing. You guys always complain, oh, I can't afford a house. Well, wait till it crashes, then you buy a house, right? You know, so in 2008, after it crashes, that's when I bought real estate. Mm -hmm. So right now, look at, look at the stock market, all-time high. Real estate's an all-time yeah. high. Your phony education is an all-time right. high. Everything Look at started. medical costs at all time high. And these, fin these phony, fake financial planners are telling you to invest for the long term when the market's at all time high. And what blew it into the bubble was the Fed. Mm -hmm. The Fed kept printing money, it just kept blowing it in this bubble. So meanwhile, little silver, it's $15 on this chart here. It used to be as high as 50. Do you know? Yeah. $15 is a joke. So if you hold, you know, and, and, and this is not an investment. I predict, and I, my predictions are often wrong, that if you buy silver today at 15, in 10 years, it'll be worth 100. Because they keep burning it up, they keep yeah. demanding it. So would you rather save the dollar, which is going down, or save silver, which is going up? Yeah. <laughs> Can you afford $15? I wouldn't, and I wouldn't diversify, I mean, I never, when 72, I met my first financial planner because mm -hmm. it's a whole story. They told me to diversify. I said, are you yeah. nuts? I said, that's called diversify. Mm -hmm. You buy a little of all this crap and all of it's paper. Stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs. Even real estate is on you know, REITs. It's fake real estate. Mm -hmm. I don't touch this stuff. Now you should, but I won't. Okay, you understand? I'm not saying don't touch it. I'm saying be aware of what's real and what's fake here. So when I was about your age, okay, so I was, that was a book fake. Yeah. I'm flying behind enemy lines in Vietnam, and I realized I was being lied to by my own government, my own teachers, and the Wall, especially Wall Street, you know. So when I was about 25 years old, I bought my first gold coin. It was 50 mm -hmm. bucks. Today it's worth about 15. Now it's about 1,800 today. So I never saved dollars. And what I started to do then. As I got older, I just saved gold. So when you look at me today, here I am here, and then today I'm adding plata. So rather than saving dollars, which was going down in value, mm -hmm. I just saved gold and silver. And it just became a habit. It was, you know, sometimes it was hard because I didn't have any money, but I still had the discipline to go and buy. My, my Kim and I talk about how we would just save little silver, you know, buy it mm -hmm. and buy it, buy it. Today we're multi, multi, multi millionaires mm -hmm. in gold and silver. And everybody will tell you, well, that's stupid because they're in the stock market. Well, the stock market's gonna crash in a few years mm -hmm. anyway. And this goes up and down too. So if I could leave you one more thing like this, is I don't count the price, I count the number of ounces. Yeah. This is an ounce, approximately, this is approximately an ounce. So I don't care what the price is. All I care is how many ounces I have. And that's why I'm a rich man. They can take everything away from me. Plata e oro, you know, silver gold, and gold. Yeah. will be here a thousand years from now, mm -hmm. 10,000 years from now, 100,000 years from now. It'll still be here. I never spend this stuff because that's the basis of my wealth. Mm -hmm. And I know most of your millennials have said, that, yeah, but you have money. I said, I didn't have any money either. 
but it was just a discipline. You know, can you afford twenty dollars today? Yeah. Everybody in the world can, mm -hmm. but they don't have the discipline. There's one more thing I want to talk to you about, and it goes to this here. This is the cash flow quadrant. Okay. When you watch those videos, where was your mind? You have to put your brain into the eye quadrant. Mm -hmm. I don't I've never looked at a job since. Since I came back from Vietnam. I said, my life has nothing to do with the mm -hmm. E quadrant. I could have got a job flying for the airlines, you know, making 500,000 a year. It's a chump change. You know, they're working for a paycheck and paying taxes. So the other thing here is this, when we go into the next subject, this is the financial statement, yeah. which is this game here, the cash flow game. It went to this next one on fake teachers. The fake teachers are always one of you think here in the income column, working for fake money. That's why they're fake teachers, okay? And when I was your age at 25, my brain went into the asset column. That's the only place I think about today. When you look again at the cash flow quadrant, the E, S, B, and the I, mm -hmm. the trouble with most millennials is your brain is still in the E quadrant. Yeah. When I ask you to watch those videos, I was putting your brain in the I quadrant. Mm -hmm. And so the most important thing, if you're going to be successful in your lifetime, is get your damn brain out of the E quadrant or the S quadrant. You're working for money. Mm -hmm. You've got to get your brain into the I quadrant. I don't, I don't recommend the B quadrant. It's too hard for most people. Yeah. But anyway, all I focus on is here. Working I don't care how sense. much money I make. All I want are assets. So I'm a rich man because my brain is not where the most teachers are, which is ease, my poor dad. Mm -hmm. My rich dad was in the I quadrant. Get in, the difference? Yeah. In school, we're taught and trained to work for the income. For the job. When here, we're taught. Fake money. Yeah. When here, we're taught to work for assets and things like this. That can well, that's just yourself. real money. Mm -hmm. Stop listening to fake teachers. People say, what would you do with your kid today? i take them out of school. I would homeschool my kid. I wouldn't put them in school because they, they learn to be socialists and communists, which mm -hmm. is fine. I want to teach my kid to be a capitalist. And the capitalists are on the B and the I side. The socialists and communists are on the E and the S side. Mm -hmm. That's Bernie Sanders, AOC, and all that, Elizabeth Warren. Yeah. So let me show you one more thing here because this is the most important part. Mm -hmm. The average millennial or human being coming out, they want the high paying job. Yeah. Your brain is in the income column. And then you think about how am I gonna cover my expenses? What's your first expense? Tax. Mm -hmm. The reason you wanna work for fake money is your first line of expense is called tax. That's silly. Mm -hmm. And then you think, oh, I'm gonna buy a house, I'm gonna buy a car, I'm gonna buy this, I'm gonna buy that. So your, your brain is then stuck in the liability column mm -hmm. that your school teachers will tell you, well, your house is an asset, your car is an asset, your college education is an asset. Yeah. So the reason I asked you to watch those videos was pull your head out of what they taught you in school and get it into the I quadrant. Mm -hmm. I mean, the asset column or the I quadrant. The I quadrant is the inside trader. I trade from the inside. I don't trade, I don't buy stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or ETFs, because I'm an insider. I don't trade from the outside, but that takes training. Mm -hmm. The moment you put your brain into the, through the video, in the I quadrant and the asset quadrant, you start to see a different world. Yeah, it made me realize, why have I been focusing on all the wrong things? Yeah, people focus on their careers, yeah. on how am I gonna pay the rent, or the mortgage, mm -hmm. or. And higher, the higher the wage, the higher the expenses. And the taxes. Yeah. And so the nice car. You know, I like nice cars mm -hmm. and all that too. But I don't fall for the gimmicks, okay? Yeah.